Hey Adfila friend, today I'm going to show you how to make stinging nettle soup with just a few ingredients. Helps you heal, strengthen your immune system, relieve allergies and so much more. If you don't have fresh stinging nettle yet and you don't know where to find it, you don't know how to harvest it, I'm going to link you a video up here which explains exactly when is the best time, where to look for stinging nettle so you can make your fresh stinging nettle soup. So let's get started right now. The kitchen utensils we need is a blender to make the soup nice and creamy, cutting board, knife and a pot with a lid. Now before we come to the ingredients, there's one thing that I have to mention and that I'm not doing perfectly, shame on me. The reason for that is because right now in Peru here, I'm in the Andes Mountains, give you a tour. Check this out. Blue sky, lots of eucalyptus. And here it's winter right now. Winter is not the best time to harvest stinging nettles. That's why my stinging nettles also look a little bit sad and they already have seeds. So those are not the best ones to make soup with. This is the perfect exemplar, <laughs> which I just got one from. Tender stem, just fresh out. Part of the plant is perfect for nettle soup, for a tender nettle soup. I'm using what I've got because I wanted to bring that video to you. So let's talk now about the ingredients of our delicious healing nettle soup. For the ingredients, obviously we need our nettles, or better, the small nettle plant. We need two potatoes and one onion. And I also like to use olive oil, extra virgin, and a natural salt. This one is not a sea salt, it's from a salt mine here locally. And then we can get started with washing the nettles. Well, it's best if you wash the nettles in a large pot, but I didn't have one, so I'm just improvising and having fun. Shaking. Now to get things started, we want to use three cups of water. Now we're going to fill the water in the pot and put the pot on the stove, put it on the heat and don't forget to put a lid on. And in the meantime, we're going to peel the potatoes. I love potatoes, so do my chickens. And one of the cool things about Peru is where I'm living here is that they have dozens and dozens of different varieties of potatoes as you can see here with the violet inside it's the andine potato so let's meet the chickens look at them so i call them esmeralda and siri bon appetit all right so the potatoes are washed nicely and the onion is peeled already as well and now we just chop up everything and put it in the pot so now all the goodies go in the pot if you want to get fancy you can also saute the onions before in a pan i just like quick and simple and i don't have a pan right now so that's why it's the easy solution there we go and now we're going to take care of those guys over here if you've got the demonstration nettle in big quantities you can just chop up half of the plant like that use them with the tender stems but as this is not the case for our friends here i'll just take off all the leaves ignore the hard stems and also ignore the pain i'm going to go through while touching those nettles i'm just doing this for you by the way good news here in this case is those are the seeds you see here and they have healing properties too they also have iron have a lot of protein so i will be using those two but just like the, the top parts the soup i'm making is for one person with a lot of hunger or for two people as a first course and we're going to use about three handfuls of nettle leaves okay so this is about two handful of stinging nettle so now let's add it to the pot okay, so you can occasionally stir now we're gonna let this simmer for 50 to 20 minutes Okay, so the waiting is over, soup is ready, so let's get the uh, sea salt. I like to add just intuitively, maybe a, a quarter of a teaspoon, whatever feels good for you. And then also the olive oil, I use a, a teaspoon as well, intuitively. And now we're going to add all of this mix to the blender. One word of caution here, if you need to make sure that the uh, blender that you're using is heat resistant. So this is the one I can put all hot boiling things in and nothing happens. But if you're using a plastic blender or you're not sure if, you're, if the glass of your blender is made for this kind of heat, then you want to let everything cool down before. So now we got all the mix in and now we're just blending it on high speed. We're going to fill the nettle soup into a bowl. Nettle soup, yay! Mm. If you want to know, 
what I'm doing with the rest of those nettles, then you want to watch this video right now where I'm sharing with you how to make nettle tea from nettles, no matter if they are fresh or if they're dried.